with the beautiful sisters Larkin Poe. Um, and they'll be playing in about an hour at the Cambridge, Fi- uh, Cambridge Folk Festival sorry, 2013. Um, first of all, girls, how excited are you to be playing uh, this year? Woohoo! We've heard so many good things about this festival. It's nice to actually get here and stretch it out, especially with the weather so nice. Beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Very excited. <laughs> and we were speaking just before as well, where else you're doing in the UK? Just reel off a couple of places or at least where people can sort of see your tour dates. For sure. Leicester, Wigan, Lewis, and then we're going to be getting up into Scotland some, so people should check out our schedule. We're going to be playing some more festivals as well as just like, you know, clubs and stuff like that. Yeah, larkinpo.com is the website. You're good. Oh, say that again? Larkinpo.com. Larkinpo.com. And you'll find all the tour dates. So guys, do check them out because they are awesome. Um, and they're going to be venturing up to Scotland, which is which is really, really cool. It's a really nice folk scene up there. Um, so with the, the new uh, sort of um, music with the Norwegian producer, what was it like working with him? Ah, it was great. Um, this past year has been very busy for us. We actually released two collaboration projects, one with... Blair Dunlop, who's going to be playing here later this weekend, um, and that was really fun. He came to Atlanta and we recorded in December, and so that came out in March, I believe. And then with the Norwegian artist Tom Hell, um, we released a collaboration project as well in March. So we were fairly busy little bees. That's called Sound, Sound of the Ocean Sound. Yeah. It's amazing, guys. You should totally get it. Um, so what's the future then for, for Lark and Poe for the rest of this year? Are you going to be touring a bit more? Well, we'll be finishing out this tour to about a three weeks, I think, um, more on this tour. And then we're going to be going into the studio to record our first full-length album for just us. Yeah. That is amazing. And have you been started writing stuff for the new album then? Yeah, we've been writing all year um, with the intent of this album. We've been trying to be patient with it because... We, we're fairly headstrong, like, oh, let's just do everything now type people, yeah. but learning how to just kind of stockpile all the right songs. So when people see us live, they can see pretty much the new direction and, and what songs are going to go on the album. That is really cool because you guys have actually been going for a very long time. So I know you had a band before with your sister and then you've obviously formed Lark and Poe. And actually, just tell us quickly, because I read this, um, how the name Lark and Poe came about. Yeah. Lark and Poe is the name of our great, 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 great grandfather. And uh, his name was Larkin Haskew Poe. And he was a distant relative of the great Edgar Allan Poe. That's our claim to fame. <laughs> Something you didn't know. I think you're your own claim to fame, to be honest. I think you're <laughs> fantastic. But it, for having gone for so, for so long now and writing your own music, and just you must be so passionate just to get it all out there as fast as you possibly can because you're, you've, you're so, such renowned musicians and you've worked your craft and you know, you've done, obviously you're traveling in the UK now, that's so basically a world tour. So how excited are you about releasing the new album and just really carving your own identity with like an, an actual album this time? Yeah, that's the, that's the thing is we've been, this is the moment we've been working up towards, yeah. you know, with all of our EPs. Uh, just working on our craft, you know, figuring out what it is we want to be. And so, yeah, this is the moment where it's like, okay, this is it, you know? Yeah. And I think this year has really been a year of discovery for us as well as far as, yeah, figuring out what exactly it is. And we've come up with the name Swampadelic Americana with lots of soul. That's love what it. we do. I love it. That's what we do. So we're, we're pleased. We're just, we're very happy to be doing what we're doing, you know? And do you think you're going to develop the music are you going to cross into other genres? Are you going to keep it as your roots that you've you've always had, which is your? I think I think that's the beauty though of of the music scene today is that you don't have to necessarily put a name on it or stick to one thing. Yeah. I think that's our saving grace because we are a bit uh, a bit. I guess you could say schizophrenic about our music. Genre. I mean, we love to play all different kinds of music, so it's really hard for us to stick to like yeah. <laughs> one thing. But it means you appeal to a wider audience. And, you know, we've just been talking as well about, um, I would have called it lap tapping, but that's, I know it with an acoustic guitar, but you guys call it? It's a, it's a lap steel, yeah. Yeah. And I could just give us a quick demo. Just I know they're going to give us a performance in a second, but just a quick demo. <laughs> It's so unbelievably cool. And with techniques like that, though, you can just diversify. And I mean, there's little key points like that I always find make a musician just so special and make the music just so appealing. Um, so are we going to see a lot of this on the album? I hope so. Oh, yes. I mean, because I'm, I'm the lead singer, but sh- that's her voice, you know. So in our shows, it's kind of 
one of the four, one of the biggest focuses, I would think, of our music. And there are not many female slide players, and no. so she stands out, especially her being like genuinely one of the best slide players that there really are. Yep. Aww. We're lucky. Every, yeah. We're lucky, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Biological, you're very lucky, yeah. Um, so the new music we can find on iTunes, Amazon. Yep. Yep. Oh, you can also buy the CD here under the tent, can't you? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Grand. That's so. Anyone who's coming to the festival over the next weekend, you can buy the music from Larkin Poe. And now we're actually going to have a really cool acoustic performance from the beautiful sisters. You're gorgeous. Um, and uh, enjoy, guys.